Uh, oh, hell yeah. Welcome. Welcome, villains of the internet, to Evil Stories with UMD. This is going to be a, a quick little villain rant. Uh, today's a good day. Because uh, today we get to bully Ethan Klein. <laughs> Man, this guy just won't shut the fuck up. What's up with that, man? Ethan Klein is in the news again today. Uh, because one of uh, his son's editors made some tweet about Osama. And that just triggered Ethan into this rant about... How much he hates Osama. Round, round of applause, everybody, for Ethan Klein for hating Osama Bin Laden. Holy shit. Wow. Wow, really figured it out there, man. God fucking damn these people. But more than that. More than that. This is a rant uh, that I'm kind of freeballing. Uh, it's not going to be... It's very last minute I put this together. I think first I should start... Uh, for those who don't know who I am, uh, hello, my name's UMD. Uh, quick summary, if you are going to listen to any of my other little podcast rants, I'm a professional yapper, and uh, I thought it'd be fun to start a little podcast series where I document stories uh, uh, or people that I think are kind of evil or villainous, and uh, lo and behold, Ethan Klein is our main subject today. He's been in my crosshairs for a while now, uh, and there's reason for that, you know? I was such a big, big H3, H3 fan back in the day. Huge fan. I was, I was uh, introduced to H3 uh, when I was in high school, and I was watching Filthy Frank, and iDubs, and Max Mofo, and How to Basic, and Frank, or George, Joji, whoever... Uh, eventually collabed with Ethan, and, uh, you know, that kind of started, that, that's when I began to be, that's when I started to, to be an H3 fan, and, and I bought all the Teddy Fresh, and I was digging the H3 podcast, I loved his, uh, or even before that, I, I, I was a big, big fan of his reaction videos, uh, when he was taking down commentators, like, dipshits like Leafy, uh, and Keemstar, when Ethan would go after these fucking weirdo, creepy ass, uh, 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 pranksters, Mommy Makeout Day, I remember Mommy Makeout Day, oh, those were the days, oh, man, but today, Ethan is no longer that guy, Ethan has become a completely different person, um, so let's see here. How do we want to start? So yeah, Ethan won't shut the fuck up. He um, pretty much has gotten into this mind state that he's like a debate bro kind of guy now. He just like thinks he's smart and thinks he knows a thing or two, uh, especially with the whole Israel-Palestine situation. Uh, he thinks he knows because he lived in Israel, and that means something to him, apparently, or that he understands how all Jewish people feel. His words, not mine. He he claims to know how Israel works, and that's fine. You know, he can think whatever he wants. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah. I got some... I got a... I got a couple threads here, a couple videos we're going to watch uh, that kind of details out what's been going on. Uh, as of what's happened more recently, uh, North Star Radio, who I am subscribed to, we love North Star Radio, who also has uh, talked about how he was a uh, uh, an ex-H3H3 fan uh, and how during like 2020 he was radicalized and... and uh, uh, excuse me, decided to do his own little YouTube channel to, uh, you know, make great content, honestly. The dude just makes spot-on great content. Highly, highly recommend. Go check out North Star Radio. 
uh, video, and he's a video like essayist almost, uh, does these really great videos talking about uh, things that happen here in the States, uh, politics that happen globally. And uh, he decided to drop this video here. Uh, what was it called? Is there the name here? It's basically just like why the Leftovers podcast is officially over. And, you know, I watched the video already. It's really, really well put together. And, and in fact, it actually shows Ethan in a, in a, in a not as bad light as you could shine. Uh, unlike what I'm going to attempt to do here today. Because uh, I think he's a filthy piece of shit. Uh, I think Ethan is a fugly, fat, dumbass who wants to play this, like, know-it-all kind of guy. And uh, I think people like him need to be taken down a peg, if I'm being for real. Uh, it And it sucks. It sucks that I, uh, that I have to talk about somebody, a creator that I really appreciated and looked up to and, and loved. I really loved this man and Ela. Um, but fuck both of them. They're both just the most disgusting, racist, fucking Zionist pieces of shit that we've had the privilege to witness recently. Um, but yeah, here, here's some of his rants. Um, so he was over, what is it? He's like on Instagram talking shit about... This guy, Mao Wow, who is one of uh, Hassan's editors, I believe. Um, his original tweet here says, Do Americans actually know why Bin Laden did all that? Or do they all believe he hated that they can vote or something? Because <laughs> a lot of people do. A lot of people think have, have really stupid ideas on why they think Osama did what he did, you know, with 9-11 and, and all that. And this is just coming off of the, what is it now, almost 23rd or 22nd anniversary of 9-11, some shit like that. Um, I can't do basic math right now because I'm dumb and I'm too hyped up. I'm, I'm smoking that H3 pack. I'm smoking, smoking that Ethan Clionist the Zionist pack right now, okay? I'm hyped up. All right, I don't give a fuck. It, it, we know. We know when fucking 9-11 happened. Uh, and it, 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 was, it was horrible. And we should talk about the how, how devastating it was that we lost, you know, about roughly 3,000 uh, Americans that died during 9-11. Uh, but more importantly, we should also talk about the over million Muslims that were murdered and the wars that happened afterwards. For no reason. Innocent Muslim civilians just murked for no good no good reason whatsoever. Um, so Ethan, he's out here. Let's see. He says here, he did quite literally hate Americans because... Oh, wait. let me. Can I do an Ethan accent or voice? Uh, he did quite literally hate Americans. <coughs> <coughs> Because they could vote and had freedoms. So specifically states in his writings the reasons homosexuality, lack of Sharia law, drug use, letting money, and letting Jews run the country. Please read his writings before regurgitating, regurgit, regur fuck me, regurgitating tanky talking points and running defense. So he's also like, God, he's so insufferable. He is always on, at least as of recently of this year, he has been on this like, uh, this idea that, like, leftists and tankies are, like, bad people now, and that they are, uh, I don't know, like he says here, trying to, at the bottom here, he says they're trying to rewrite history, and, and, and it, and that they're damaged, like, damaging, I don't know, just the perspective people have on Osama, or just whatever, and, God, it's just, it's mind-boggling how fucking, like, uh, 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 professionally stupid some pe some people can be. <coughs> Shit. Should have grabbed the water before I did this. Um, here's based and goaded Frogan. This motherfucker never shuts up. Oh my God. And we love Frogan. Frogan is the queen. She is our queen. 
And God, it is. There has been, uh, um, or there was, I should say, a whole incident where Ethan decides to go after Frogan. Uh, because you know she's just on Twitter being like free Palestine and that there should be a uh, one state solution or I don't I don't remember exactly what she was saying but <coughs> she was saying she she was saying a bunch of like very based and good things about the current state of Israel Palestine and so Ethan decided to unfollow her I guess and then that started a whole bunch of drama and he starts shit talking her on his stupid little fucking podcast. Ch ch just childish shit, really. Um, there's another post by Ethan. Tankies, which I don't think he's spelling that right. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be T-A-N-K-I-E-S. -T I'm pretty sure he's sp spelling that wrong. But, I mean, what do you expect from a, from a fucking idiot, you know? <laughs> Tankies falling over themselves to defend Osama bin Laden should tell you all you need to know about their movement. See, that's, that's what I was talking about earlier. This notion that he knows where, like, leftists are coming from. Because let's be fucking real. Ethan was never, like, an ally or, or like, a leftist, you know? He was way more of a centrist kind of guy. He was like this edgelord, meme shit post kind of dude back in the day. And that was why I fucking loved him, you know. Uh, but uh, he's not like, he's not that funny anymore. Let's, let's also be real about that. He's phenomenally unfunny. The podcast has also pretty much deteriorated into a people's magazine uh, in podcast form now. Or is it People's Magazine or People's Week? Something like that. Just like a fucking drama magazine that no one should... So there's a reason why he's probably... He's severely fallen off. Uh, and also probably reasons why he has a bunch of, uh, you know, a lot of close crewmates leaving as well. Wouldn't be surprised if more left by the end of this year, if not next. Um... God damn. But let's go over a few other things in Ethan's past. This is essentially my personal content cop against H3, or against Ethan specifically. Uh, right off the bat, I want to give a big, big shout out to this Reddit thread here, H3 Snark. H3 Snark has uh, been, in a f been a phenomenal community at uh, really shining a light on, on uh, Ethan's... Uh, kind of mentality uh, 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 or perspective on uh, on on whatever stupid shit that he's talking about recently whether it be politics whether it be uh, 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 other cr content creators right so let's see here um if I remember let's see here do I have it um so this is where it kind of started was this post here that Ethan Quote tweets this guy who says, I'm in South Beach having fun, in parentheses, on drugs. I, you know, I don't even know who the fuck this guy is, you know. I, just speaking from a fan, like at the time, I remember seeing this post and being like, I don't know who this guy is, and I don't know if I care to know. But Ethan decides to retweet and say, enjoy your drugs and being a sex worker, Hamas would kill you on the spot. God fucking damn. That's edgy. I get, I'll give him props. That's edgy. Is it funny? Not really. It it, it kind of comes off as, uh, uh, I don't know, just more like someone just being an asshole to be an asshole. Um, oh, what's this? Israel shouldn't bomb civilians. I just fantasized about Hamas killing you. Visibly queer person, average scientist. <laughs> damn. Got his ass. Um... And I believe, yeah, this was during Pride Month. Possibly. I, I don't recall for sure. Let's say here. Oh, 10. Isn't 10? Is October Pride Month? When is Pride Month? Oh my god, I'm a fake gay. I'm a fake queer. Hold up. This is embarrassing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not a true ally. It's in June. Okay. 
never mind. So this wasn't, this wasn't, I thought it was, but, um, that was, I should have known that. That was really, okay. Well, all right. You got me. I'm actually the idiot here. <laughs> no, I may be dumb, but I'm not Ethan Klein levels of stupidity. Let's be real. Would Ethan even remember <laughs> gay pride? Ethan would. Re Ethan Klein would remember gay pride if it meant that he could shill some more shitty Teddy Fresh merch with a bunch of rainbows on it. That's that's more of uh, <laughs> his way of thinking, right? Uh, so this was like one of the first like kind of moments that he had where he kind of popped off, right? Um, let's see here, and then as the as the you know, kind of uh, Ethan's spiral. After October 7th, Ethan's spiral really starts to get out of hand. He starts, uh, they, he ended up like doing one last little uh, leftovers podcast with Hassan. Didn't really go that well. Uh, but it was, it was the like diet leftovers episode or the leftovers light version uh, that was uh, actually on Hassan's stream, where Hassan had Ethan on to further discuss Israel-Palestine. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Is this? No, 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 no. There's a big, this was a big, big moment that happened. Um, oh, not that big. This was another big moment that happened. Uh, Ethan compares pro-Palestine Jewish voices with Jewish collaborators with Nazis, uh, specifically talking about the Jewish Voices for Peace organization. Let's go ahead and play that. And use it. There, there. No. And use it. There, there was Jewish collaborators with fucking Nazis. Ethan, that were don't do that, please. Don't say that the Jews' Voice for Peace Gross. are akin to Kapos. Like that's. I'm telling you that the mere existence of Jewish voices doesn't is not. It's not a leg to stand on. I don't understand that. But of course, you, there's going to be. But you're failing. But you're. Views. But the most important component important. here, the. It's the like most you're important component here is that. Israelis. It seems silly. What, Ethan? <laughs> what? <laughs> gross! 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 Um. That was uh, that was pretty bad. That was a pretty bad take. Let's see here. Is this about Aaron Bushnell? What is this? Yes, this is about Aaron Bushnell. So Aaron Bushnell, for those who don't know, Aaron Bushnell was a, uh, I believe he served in the U.S. Army, Navy, um, military, one of the, one of the, one of the branches, and he decided to take his own life uh, uh, by lighting himself on fire as a form of protest, uh, to, you know, not support Israel and their genocidal tendencies. Um, this, oh God, I didn't realize this was seven minutes long, but let's see, hopefully what he says, what I think he says about Aaron is in this like first cup, like first minute. T. Um, you know what? Oh God, this is such a joke and poor taste, but I wonder if I should say it. It's not that poor taste. I don't think it's going to offend people that much, if anyone. But I was saying, so let me start with this. Mind numbing rant about Panera Bread. That's nice. Yeah. Well, you guys know about this guy Bush now who set himself on fire outside the Israeli consulate? You guys know about him? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nobody yeah. nobody even wants to pipe up. You don't even want to admit to knowing about it. I can sense Dan's hand over the button right now. Oh, it definitely yeah, is. I, I can see it with the force. <laughs> well, I was just saying that if I wanted to protest, I would just go outside the consulate with two um, Panera iced teas. Got it. Okay. And that would be my, um, my protest. Cool. <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> Not that bad, right? No, 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 Damn, no, no, Ethan, no, no, you're no, fucking hilarious. When you get on trend. stage, bro. Yeah. Well, the Panera. I wonder even how you could make a Panera joke that offensive. 
you know, did your damnedest. Was, you did someone, your damnedest, dude. Yeah, if, if someone could do it. It was absolutely insane how he, like, stood the whole time. That was crazy. I didn't even know how that's humanly possible. Um, Again, not to put this uncouth, but he's a champ at fucking burning a lot. Of, I mean, that sounds bad, but he did it really good. What the fuck, dude? Right here. This this is what I was looking for, this moment. Dude, fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. He's really good at setting himself on fire. That's not even a joke. That's not even funny. You're just fucking stupid, dude. Oh, man. This was a, this was a big uh, point of content not point of contention what am i trying to say this is a moment that i saw and i was just like okay he's a piece of shit you know um but you know it doesn't end there no ethan here's the thing he's a professional idiot we keep forgetting he's a professional almost professional yapper like myself but in in a in a polar opposite direction where he yaps and is trying to make himself sound as racist and as ignorant as possible here's another moment that was really really cool um of hassan trying to you know have a nice calm conversation with ethan uh about you know whatever i think it's about the phrase from the river to the sea because ethan doesn't like that phrase and he was like trying to explain how hassan doesn't get why other israeli Israelis or Jewish people would find that phrase offensive. Uh, I believe this is like right around that that point when they're talking about that. But this is a cool, very mature. This is a very mature moment for Ethan. Remember, he's a very mature, level-headed uh, 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 political commentator, pro uh, debater, pro debater, uh, professional debater. Okay, so. yeah, it says because of constitutional security, military, and political oh, yeah. catastrophe oh, yeah. to the Arabs. I'm reading on, it. To the Arab on, and Islamic nation, it must be finished. La, 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 I can't hear you. Ethan, this is not the own that you think it is. I've already covered this. I already talked about this. I just want people to see it. I know. I've sh I've showed this on my stream. I don't know why you hey, think this me. is like an own. God fucking hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. You know you're in the like... <laughs> you know that you're definitely like on the right side or not that's not what i want to say what am i trying to say you definitely know that you are you know making good valid points about your side of a debate when it's when you pull out the la 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 i can't hear you la 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 that's just <sighs> this was just another moment that you watch and you just go like really dude Really, the years to be God. I get. I feel embarrassed that I have all. I have all this Teddy Fresh merch that's sitting up in my closet collecting dust because I'm not gonna walk outside wearing that ugly shit now. And it sucks because some of it I do like and I do want to wear. You know, it just sucks that it's completely tied to this dumbass piece of shit. Um, I'll probably I'll probably end up putting some uh free palestine patches on it at some point you know um who knows that or i might just throw it all in the garbage either or um what else do we have here um did that did that there's only one other thing because i'm going to wrap this up this is going to be a full hour this is just a nice little rant but this was also one of the big videos um that really shined Ethan, or sh where Ethan really showed us his true colors, talking to Ethan about uh, Ethan about Israel Palestine, and there was a comment down here because I couldn't find the exact clip of uh, of the moment that Ethan has this one talking point, but this guy clocks it in, and I'm just gonna go ahead and read this. Uh, this guy says, "I don't think Ethan realizes how racist the." quote, Palest Palestinians will slaughter Israelis argument is. 
because that was the thing. If I remember correctly, Hassan was trying to advocate for a uh, one-state solution, and Ethan's rebuttal was like, "Well, if they if if a one-state solution is made, Pal Palestinians, because the Palestinians just are in inherently like murderous and 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 like all Muslims are, and then this is like his." way of thinking uh we'll just start killing random israelis if a one state solution uh was to happen i i swear to you this was like his exact almost his exact line of 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 phrasing and it really like put a fucking bad taste in my mouth it, i like knee jerk react when that moment happened in the video where Hassan's really just trying, being as patient as humanly fucking possible. Be, I would say beyond humanly possible. This Hassan has literally, like, the patience of an autistic teacher. Of, like, ten of them. I, I couldn't... I, it is phenomenal what Hassan is able to do. And, and he is a beautiful man for that. And I would suck him off any day. But I'm also not here to dick ride. Uh, but yeah, if a one-state solution were to be put into place, Palestinians were allowed the right to return, Hamas would have no reason to exist, and the vast majority of the Palestinian population would reject them, assuming that the rights of, 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 uh, afforded to them by the new government provided a uh, modicum of justice. And actually, I don't think the majority of Palestinians really care about Israelis one way or another. They just want what everyone else wants in society. So, what everyone else in society has, which is equal treatment and the ability to live a life of well-being, which they do not currently have because they are in an, apart in an apartheid state. Um, and that's pretty much all there is. If you... <laughs> if you... I don't know what that voice was. <laughs> but... If you find yourself still an H3 fan, you know, first of all, congratulations. You've been completely blind to how Ethan has been behind the scenes. Uh, and that's commendable that you are that s s completely un out of the loop of, uh, you know, what's been going on, what's been going down uh, over on the H3 podcast and whatnot. Um, but I hope this just shines a bit of a, a, a light, a beacon uh, into your world uh, to maybe, you know, what what is it? What is it? Uh, clean house a bit, you know, do a little, do a little research yourself um, and see, uh, 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 and, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say. If you're still an H3 fan right now, if I'm being for real, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> you, you're either completely out of the loop of what's been going on, uh, and you don't care, or you th you agree with Ethan. You agree with Ethan and Hila, uh and you... you uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You... Uh, when you just, you know, you're around somebody who says horrible things, but you kind of, like, pass it off as, like, ah, they probably don't actually mean that. And it's like, well, they've been saying it, like, ten times over for the past couple months now. Chances are they, they believe in this in this uh, very toxic rhetoric. Um, and, uh, yeah, like I said, I think it's time for you to clean house a little bit. Kind of come to terms that Ethan Klein is actually kind of a piece of shit and it was hard for me to really come to that conclusion uh because i i did i really loved the dude i thought he was funny i loved the chemistry between him and the crew members and all the foot soldiers and you know and then when he had trisha on and they did the whole uh frenemies that was awesome that was all good until trisha went full fucking just retard mode and I don't know she kind of fucked that all up for them I will say I, I'm still on Ethan's side when it comes to Trisha Ethan situation but I'm not on Ethan's side uh when it comes to pretty much anything else after October 7th um 
So yeah, I'll just give a last little shout out here, H3 Snark. Uh, check out this mega thread. Shows an entire timeline of recent events from just this week of Ethan, you know, Ethan going after Hassan's editors, after Frogan. Um, definitely watch the North Star Radio. Uh, I guess Ethan likes Destiny now, which just, you know, makes sense. Most idiots are coming a pair, you know? Um, fucking God, Destiny's such a dipshit. Oh man, he's so fugly too. He's like literally like like a like a like a disabled fugly version of uh, of Heisenberg. That's what Destiny looks like. Except he then when you hear him speak, it's like he's like been listening to just like uh, he has like a Ben Shapiro flow to his like ugly, disgusting, racist rhetoric that he spews every day on his channel. Really cool stuff, slick stuff. Um. Check out this mega thread about recent events if you're interested. And then I would also recommend this Zionism mega thread uh, that has also been made uh, showing everything. Like, if I didn't convince you, this thread will. Link, link, link. There's links to everything, every claim, every phrase that Ethan has said uh, in regards to uh, Palestinians in regards to how Israel operates and how disgusting his commentary is. There's the, it's all here. Everything he's had to say about Aaron, uh, everything he said about Frogan, uh, Ela is mentioned in here, all the stupid shit that she said. Uh, every time that they've unfollowed, like, uh, unfollowed people who were pro-Palestine, and all the times that they've followed uh, pro-Israel accounts on Twitter, it's all here. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, yeah, didn't even get into, like, how shitty AB must feel that he, as a, you know, Muslim man himself, probably doesn't get any fucking say on the show about, you know, maybe his side. I believe he talks about how he's lost uh, close friends, you know, for... I don't know, being a part of H3 or not speaking out enough. And then Ethan and Ela also criticizing Olivia for liking pro-Palestinian tweets. Shit like that. Just disgusting work behavior, work workplace environment. And to top it all off, you know, Ethan will always love to rant and rave about how much of a capitalist he is. And, buddy, we don't need any more convincing we definitely know that you're just another capitalist pig who doesn't like seeing things for what it is. Um, and it's and in here is also like things of his parents, how horribly Zionistic his parents are too. That's probably where a lot of his, uh, you know, thinking and talking points come from is the stupid shit his folks spew. But uh, all right. Well, this has been fun. Uh, in conclusion, Ethan Klein, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, and please go back to just talking about, I don't fucking know. Go talk about, uh, Shoe Nice. Go talk about Shoe Nice, and go talk about, I don't know, go talk about Kanye again. Just go talk about dumb celebrity YouTuber shit. And stay out of politics. Stay out of what's currently going on if you don't want to educate yourself or be understanding to the causes going on. <laughs> that also being said, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. We will prevail and we will take over Israel, <laughs> not take over, not take over, um, but definitely eliminate to some degree, you know, because Israel's just batshit fucking evil. May you know the government, of course. the The people there, I I, ha I do have a lot of empathy for uh, that. That a lot of uh, people in Israel, a lot of civilians, are very uneducated uh and it, it goes the same way here in america there's lots of people here in america that are severely uneducated 
on uh, what our government does, but still will liberally just blindly uh, uh, be like, well, we have to, like, we're America, like, we fucking have to do this. We have to continue supporting Israel in their genocide regime, you know? We have to. It's, there's no other, there's no other, we have to. <laughs> there's no other way. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done, I'm done. Signing off. Fuck you, Ethan.